What is going on everybody? This is JRAM here and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Destiny 2 beta. So the, what we're going to go over in this video is the story mission itself, the strike, access to the farm, which is the new social space, and uh, the PvP modes, which are control and countdown. So let's get started with the story mission. So the first story mi mission that we're going to be able to play is called Homecoming. Now, what I'm most excited about for this story mission is going to be the gameplay first. I want to see just how well will our guardians move. Um, one thing I noticed when watching the beta, they kind of looked like they were moving a little slower, but you know, you're not going to be able to determine that speed or, or how it feels until you actually get your hands on the game. So let's kind of hold off on opinions until we actually get uh, the, the beta in our hands. The second thing I want to feel is the shooting. I want to make sure that the shooting is great. Now, Bungie has a long, very long track record of making shooters, and they're all fantastic. So I'm not too worried about this, but I just want to make sure that it feels just as good, if not better, than Destiny 1. Another thing I want to look forward, or another thing I'm looking forward to is the actual look of the game. Uh, just based off of the gameplay reveals, it looks cleaner, it looks more detailed. The particle effects, all that stuff just looks so much better. And I'm really, really, really excited to see what that's going to look like on my monitor, gaming monitor that I play on. Um, now, I really want this story to mission to, to pull me into the story. One thing that Destiny 1 got a lot of flack about was the fact that the story was there. It was just so sporadic. It seemed as if it was just pieced together at the very last, uh, very last minute. And I'm really hoping that Bungie has learned from that mistake. And I'm sure they did um, with the releases of The Taken King and uh, The Age of Triumph, even Rise of Iron the story started to come together. One thing I was kind of disappointed with in The Rise of Iron was the Iron Banner uh, one video with Lady Ephrodite. Th it was, what, five seconds? They could have done more, I thought. So, now let's go ahead and let's transition over to the strikes. Now, the strike that we're going to be able to play is called the Inverted Spire Strike, and from the footage that I've seen, the world looks huge. I mean, just absolutely massive. And that can that poses both problems, advantages, or disadvantages. I think an advantage of that is it lets you feel as though you are actually in this world and you're exploring it, and as you're exploring it, you're shooting enemies and everything. The disadvantage is you want to keep the strikes focused so people are still achieving, achieving the goals. Um, one thing that would drive me crazy is when I was playing a strike with a couple of uh, randoms that, you know, from the matchmaking system, and the next thing you know, I'm the only one fighting the boss, the other two guys are off doing whatever. So I want to make sure that at least there's a focus to the strike. I'd also like to see a lot more mechanics within the strikes. Uh, when Destiny 1 came out, uh, Vanilla Destiny, the strikes were, they were good, I had fun doing them, but uh, they were very repetitive. And I, I get this is a grinding game, I understand that, but I want to see more mechanics within the actual strikes. I think a really good example of this would be the new Nexus strike when Age of Triumph actually released. Um, within that strike, you didn't know what version you were getting. Were you going to get the original version, which is fine? Were you going to get the version where you had to cleanse yourself in the, in the pools of light? Or would you have to use the Templar shield? I thought that was just a fantastic update and a fantastic way to actually introduce the the same old strike but in a new light. Um, I know a lot of people in in uh, out there was thinking, well, why didn't they do this from the start? And I want to I want to say that they didn't do this from the start because they didn't want you to know the raid mechanics. Uh, and then go into the raid, see the shield, and go, oh, I know exactly what I have to do because this is similar to the Nexus Strike. Uh, so I, I completely agree with Bungie if that was their way of thinking, which is let's release this stuff later to show people how to use the Templar Shield or, or the Cleansing of Light. However, let them figure it out first within the raid. So I think that's a great idea. Um, I just wish Bungie would have kind of stepped it up and not waited until Age of Triumph to actually release something like that. Now I'd like to transition into the farm. Now the farm is going to be our tower for Destiny 2, at least that's the way it seems like it's going to start off. Um, as far as size and scope, it seems about the same. Uh, what's really cool is you can see a shard of the Traveler in the background. Uh, you're going to have the same people there, I think the Cryptarch's going to be there, Postmaster, other merchants, stuff like that. Uh, 
I want to see them building, rebuilding the ships. I, I'm, I'm imagining that's where Amanda Holiday is going to be. So that's going to be really sweet. Um, it gives a more down to earth feel. Uh, it seems like that is going to be the theme of Destiny 2, which is we need to find ourselves. So sometimes when people have to find themselves again, you start off at zero. And that's exactly what is happening within the very first mission. There's also going to be some new NPC characters in there. Uh, I'm really excited to see who they are, see, uh, meet them, see if there's any side quest missions. Um, from what I understand, Bungie has released some statements saying that they are actually very crucial to the storyline of Destiny. Um, it doesn't matter what character you play, whether you're a hunter, titan, or a warlock. Uh, the storyline is going to be the same, so it's not like it branches off. But they, uh, they definitely play a crucial role for the storyline itself. Now, I know with this next comment, I'm going to get a lot of hate. There's going to be a playable area within the farm itself. You're going to be able to play soccer if you're from the uh, UK or Europe. Uh, football, obviously. Anyways, I could honestly care less about this. If I wanted to play soccer, I'd play FIFA. Now, I get it's one of those things where if you're in the tower or sorry, the farm, if you're at the farm and you're waiting for your, uh, your other fire team members to go ahead and get their weapons and stuff like that, you can go ahead and kick the ball around and play soccer. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the two PVP modes that we're going to be getting in Destiny 2. The first one is going to be control, and we all know what that is. You're going to have three points, A, B, and C, and your goal is just to hold down those points. Uh, if you're the opposing team, you got to make sure that you take out the people on that point, and then you can go ahead and capture the point. Now, the next PvP mode is actually a new one for Destiny. It's going to be Countdown. Now, Countdown is um, just like Search and Destroy. So, one team is going to have a bomb, and there's going to be a predetermined spot where you have to go ahead and plant the bomb, while the other team has to come in and defuse the bomb or prevent that team from actually planting the bomb. My question is this. Will the bomb sites be randomized, or will there be like a four or five sites that it could actually be? Uh, it's your job just to kind of, whenever the match starts, go find it and, and plant the bomb. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to play out. That's going to be it for this video, Guardians. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to know what your thoughts are about Destiny 2. So make sure you go ahead and uh, comment in the section below. I just want to say thank you very much for watching the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button below.